Hi there, welcome to this video. This one here, I'm going to take a look at creating another gel button. Uh, the thing is about this one, it's a slightly different technique. Um, ever so slightly um, and as you realize the more and more you get into web graphics and buttons and different things you can go crazy with the different ways that you can tweak stuff and you know improve it and uh, enhance it to make it even better so here's another one uh, looks kind of cool and I'd like to show you how to do it um, I'm gonna save this one out as well so those of you who um, have the the CD uh, or are members you'll be able to uh, download uh, this actual button and use it for yourself or you can just create your own which would be even better okay so first thing I'm gonna do I'll just uh, I'll just minimize that a little there create a new document and I'm gonna create one that's 400 by 200 pixels click on OK all right we'll just keep our other one down here just so we can have a sneak uh, sneak peek at it as we're working away now, first thing I'm going to do is grab my uh, rectangular, rounded rectangle tool. I should know what it's called by now, you'd think. Okay, and I'm going to select uh, like so and create my my button there. Okay, now I've got my shape. I'm going to control click the shape in my layers palette. Create a new layer. Double click on layer one and name it button. Okie dokie. Now what I'm going to do is select a dark color. I'm going to use blue for this one. I'm going to use a dark blue as my foreground color. And you can see there my color is 000066. If you wanted to follow along exactamundo. And my background color. And I'm just selecting my background color by clicking on the color at the back there. I'm going to choose a blue that is uh, lighter than that color I had selected but still kind of dark okay and as you can see here in my uh, tool palette here I've got my foreground colors quite dark and my background color is a little bit lighter it's a little bit lighter blue I'm gonna click on my gradient tool now in my tool palette if you're in CS2 CS1 you'll have your tool palette like this click on the gradient tool and I'm gonna choose the first option in the in the uh, gradient picker here in the options bar and I'm going to drag from top to bottom for my selection there and you can see I've got a nice nice uh, gradient there it's, it's very subtle because it's two dark colors next thing I'm going to do is click on the new layer button and I'm just going to call this uh, contracted okay because what we're going to do is contract our selection select modify contract and instead of this one I think is a little bit big so I'm going to change it to three pixels here click on OK now what we're going to do as well once again is we're going to drag from top to bottom and we're going to do a dark and a lighter color but we're just going to make them lighter blues so uh, we're going to come through here and pick out some nice new blues like so and underneath here I'm going to choose even a lighter blue Okay, like so. And we'll see how they're faring up when we when we do it. Okay, so now I'm going to drag from top to bottom once again. Okay, like so. And that looks pretty good. Not too bad. Actually, in fact, I'd, I'd probably like a little more of a, um, of a change. So I'm going to make the top color a little darker. And drag again. Okay. And that's what I'm looking for beautiful nice little gradient now I've got my two layers my button and my contracted layer and I've got my selection here now next thing I'm going to do is come into the channels tab oh no I'm not sorry I'm going to create a new layer first okay and now I'm going to save my selection so I'm going to come up to select and click on save selection and I'm going to save it in a new channel and I'm just going to call it highlight okay so now if I click on my channels tab I've got my new alpha channel here called highlight now what I'm going to do is actually just deselect this selection here now so come up to the select menu deselect and now we're going to click back on our rounded rectangle tool actually no we won't we'll use yeah 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 
we use our rounded rectangle tool and I'm just going to make a selection like so across across our highlight um, channel here. Now I'm going to come back to the layers palette click on my layer 1 and then I'm going to come up to select load selection and I'm going to choose highlight from the channel there the other way I could have done that is in the channel palette here I could have pr uh, pressed control key down or the command key on the Mac and and clicked on that layer to load the selection that's the quickest way of doing it if you like doing things the slow way which I did just then uh, you could do it by coming up to select and loading the selection that way okay now press D on the keyboard and you'll see our tool palette reset itself now to switch the colors press X and I'm gonna click on my gradient tool again and this time I'm gonna choose the second preset here because I want to go from white to transparent and this time I'm gonna drag from the top here and I'll rename this layer quickly highlight I'm going to drag from the top here down like so okay and now I'm going to deselect it so control D or command D all right now you can see that's probably overly white and it's probably a little bit too light for what we're looking for so I'm just going to reduce the opacity on that a little just to tone it down a bit you can see we've got our nice edge on it though uh, which gives it just gives it a nice look uh, to it as well so it's looking really cool at the moment looking really professional it's got we've got our nice sort of dark border there really nice tonal gradient on it and we've got our highlight on it too next thing let's add some text uh, you can just click and I've got Swiss 721 BT black condensed as my type and we'll just call this order now order now it could be whatever you like though could be subscribe now click here um, I love Shane whatever you like <laughs> whoa don't tell my wife um, alright so now we've got order now and what I'm gonna do is add a drop shadow to that drop shadow I'm gonna change the angle there let's get this on the screen here change the angle there to 90 and let's have a look where are we we're on the top aren't we that's right on the top there I'm going to change the size, I'm going to pull the size down on that to 2 and the distance there to 3. So it's just got a little drop shadow on it. It's not huge but just makes it stand out a little bit, a little bit more. Okay and the other thing we want to do is add a drop shadow to the base here. So like you can see on here we've got a little drop shadow on there. So let's come up. Um, it's going off the screen again all right so on my layers palette here I've got my button layer selected click on the add layer styles option there click on drop shadow and this one here you can see look at the drop shadow on that baby oh yeah let's reduce the opacity on that to about 50 percent uh, we've got 90 degrees 5 and 5 that'll do for the button drag my layers palette back and dock that in there alright so now it's looking pretty good there's our new order now button a nice new gel option uh, once again if we wanted to we could add a reflection to it too I'll just group everything there click and drag that to the new to create a new group that we'll call reflection just because we can okay right clicking it flip vertical dragging it down double clicking it adding a layer mask okay so this is to my reflection now adding a layer mask click on the highlight uh, sorry my gradient tool okay I've got black as my foreground color so I'll be able to mask it out okay like so and now we've got a gradient on it reduce the opacity a little woohoo and there we have it. There's a nice new gel button in Photoshop in a few minutes and we've added a nice reflection to it as well. You can customize this button to say whatever you like. Um, you know, it could be order now, it could be click here. Um, and yeah, there you have it. Look forward to seeing you on the next video. Have a great day and create some cool looking buttons for your website.